I'm Anil Kumar and here is a challenge test question for you on higher order derivatives. So let me write down here test question, right? The question here is an object moves in a straight line and its position s in meters after t seconds is s of t equals to s0 plus v0 t plus 0 0.5 at square. A motorist now let me explain this equation here because I didn't have enough space to explain. Where S0 is initial position, V0 is initial velocity and A is acceleration. Okay, So let me write S0 is initial position. Now this is a standard formula. Okay, V0 is initial position, right? And A is acceleration. Let me write A as acceleration in short. Okay. A motorist traveling at 60 kilometers per hour notices a red traffic light and put on the brakes 100 meters from the white stopping line. Assuming constant braking deacceleration, find how great the braking deacceleration must be in order to bring his car to a full stop at the white line. So that is the question. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now here we are given this formula which is a standard formula. At times it may not be given to you. So the displacement is whenever you are moving in, in a straight line is given by initial displacement plus initial velocity times time plus half of a t square a is the acceleration part. And t is time in seconds, displacement is in meters. Motorist is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. That means the initial velocity v0 is given to us as 60 kilometers per hour. We should convert that to meters per second. So it would be 60 times 1000 divided by 60 times 60, right? So that is how we can convert it into meters per second. So 60, 60 gets cancelled, kind of get here. So, so that is the velocity in meters per second. So we can further divide them by 2. So we get 50 over 3 meters per second. So that's the velocity. Now acceleration, since it is deacceleration, so we will say let acceleration be will take negative right or well, is negative right so we'll say negative here okay so let's write down the formula displacement s of t is equals to initial uh, distance will take from the time when the brakes are applied so s0 will be 0 for us so we are left with v0 t plus half of a t square so v0 is 50 over 3 so write 50 over 3 t we are taking a as negative since the brakes are being applied 0 0.5 we can write half here t square right okay so that is the distance to find velocity we say derivative of this so velocity is equals to derivative of displacement so that gives us 50 over 3 minus 2t times half will give us t. So that is the, oh I forgot to write a here, okay, so at, right, so I'm writing at. Now when the vehicle comes to rest, at that time final velocity should be zero, right? So at rest, when it comes, see that is a stopping line, correct? It's kind of like this. Now the vehicle is 100 meters away, let us say here, when the brakes are applied. Now at this time, initial time, we have velocity v0. Now here velocity is equals to 0, this distance is 100 meters. Do you see that? So final velocity is 0 for us. So we'll substitute 0 here equals to 50 over 3 minus a t. And from here we can solve for t, right? So, so a t equals to 50 over 3 or we say time it is 50 over 3. So the time taken by the vehicle to reach from here to here is 50 over 3 time divided by a right is 50 over 3 a depending on what is the acceleration correct. So that becomes 
the time for us. Now what we can do here is, and that is a tricky part, we know time, so we'll substitute time here in our first equation. We know the distance s of t. Uh, it is total distance of 100 meters which is being covered, right? So, so equating 100 meters for s of t, we can find the value of acceleration, right? So let's equate 100 for here. So we have, let me rewrite the equation first. So we have s of t as equals to 50 over 3 and time is 50 over 3a. That is the time which we calculate. We are substituting this time in the first equation in the first equation right so this is what we are doing substitution getting it here okay I hope that is very clear minus half of 50 over 3a whole square times a you get the point right so that is how we get our equation and all this we know this is 100 right so start with that is the total distance so we can write this as 100 equals to now you can simplify this 50 into 50 is 2500 over 9a minus now here also we have 2500 which is 50 square so we'll write 2500 divided by 3 times 2 is is uh, 6 and a square and here we have a right this is a and here we have 3 times 2 6 a do you get the square since we square it I'm sorry 9 2 times 9 so 2 times 9 a square so 50 is 2500 divided by 9 a square right so let me rewrite this so we have 2 times 9 a square okay so that is what we have here. Now, from here, we can actually uh, 9a, 9a, a and this cancels. So you get 9a in the denominator. And we can cancel this also, right? 12, 50. Okay. So this equation could be written as 2500 divided by 9 times a minus 1250 divided times 9 times a equals to 100. Now we can multiply by 9a, right? So if I multiply by 9a, we get 900a equals to 2500 minus 1250, right? So 2500 minus 1250 is 1250, correct? So that is what we get here. Now a is equals to 1250 divided by 900. So let's calculate how much is that. So 1250 divided by 900 gives you 1.38 and the units be meters per second square. So that is going to be the deacceleration I should say because we have already taken negative sign there. So that is the acceleration with which the driver can actually stop at the stopping line, correct? So that is how you should be solving this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.